In this video, I explore Uluru Catachuta National Park in Australia's beautiful Red Centre. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, my name is Just Mike and welcome to Sensatious Hiatus, where I highlight my travels and share information with you on how I made those adventures happen. Uluru Catachuta National Park is located in the southern part of the Northern Territory and it's home to both Uluru and Catachuta. Uluru is one of Australia's most iconic locations and the rock itself is made of sandstone, it's 348 meters high, and it's also possible to climb to the top. However, I chose not to climb it at all because it is considered a sacred place to the Aboriginal people. There's also signs posted inside the park that ask visitors not to climb Uluru and other sacred areas, but honestly, I think it's a little confusing because you'll see these metal handrails that have been physically drilled into the rock, and you might actually see other visitors that are actually climbing to the top. So this whole should I climb Uluru or not thing can be a little controversial at times, and I'll link to a few things below that will give you more information on this subject if you're interested. I also want to note that the walk to the summit will be shut down indefinitely on October 24th, 2019, so you won't be able to climb it at all after that date. But if you plan to visit Uluru before then, then all I want to say is that I think it's important that you're aware of Uluru's significance to the Aboriginal people, and I think that you should respect their culture. So with that said, let's pick up where I left off last time and see the sights at beautiful Uluru Catachuta National Park. Here we are entering the park, which does require an entrance fee. We headed straight to Catachuta first, but pulled over to catch a glimpse of Uluru as it is a pretty spectacular sight when you first see it. Uluru and Catachuta are only about 40 kilometers away from each other, and we had two days inside the park, so we decided to head to Catachuta on the first day to walk the 7.4 kilometer Valley of the Winds circuit. the Valley of the Winds track was going to be outrageously crowded, but it actually wasn't too bad. I was also surprised at just how green the Red Center was. After completing the circuit, we headed a little ways down the road to Walpa Gorge, which is also located inside Catachuta. We then watched the sun set against the rocks of Catachuta and headed outside the park to camp out for the night where I witnessed some of the darkest skies I have ever seen in my life. We woke up early the next day to catch the sunrise at Uluru which as you can see from the crowd here is a pretty popular thing to do. We topped off our visit to Uluru Catachuta National Park by walking the 10 kilometer Uluru base walk. The base walk is a walking track that goes around the entire circumference of Uluru. I'm really glad I decided to visit Australia's iconic Red Center. Later in my travels, I met other backpackers who decided to skip over this region of the country, and I really think that those people missed out. I mean, it is a long way from anything, and it can be expensive to fly here, but if you have time on your side and don't mind an extremely long bus ride, then the price to get there is reasonable, and it's very worthwhile in my opinion. That image of Uluru from afar is something that I will always remember. Yeah. 